Alisa, what would you say about the importance of being screened for the different types of cancer, especially after someone already has undergone cancer treatment? Very important. Very important. In the survivorship clinic, we uh, screen those uh, patients. We talk to them about the screening procedures, and we inform them the things that they need. And at that time, many we actually can order screening procedures, so colonoscopy, as you've mm -hmm. heard, or probably heard, that now the screening age is actually 45 instead of 50. Good. So we remind those patients that they need to see their primary care physician and that they need to have a colonoscopy done because there are certain cancers that do go together. And unfortunately, uterine cancer in women can go with colon cancer. Wow. And there are familial cancers that can happen too. So uh, colon cancer cancer, there's a familial type of colon cancer, and it's through a syndrome called Lynch. And those patients need to be screened at a very early age for colon cancer. Women that have um, breast cancer that come into our clinic, we remind them of how important it is that they need to be screened for cervical cancer. Right. Those, but even breast cancer, I and, need that number to be yes. reduced. It, it really is bothersome yes. that it starts at 40 when really it should be starting a lot younger. Yes, we agree. And those women that come with gynecological cancers that are from the belly button down, they forget sometimes that they also have to be screened with mammograms. They say, oh, I have this gynecological cancer, I'm taking care of it, but they forget that they have to screen for others. Right. Patients that have smoked need to be screened for lung cancer. And we're lucky that we have those screening modalities for patients because not every cancer has a screening tool for it.